earlier that. Now moving on to like the entities and the balances. This is very very important. Only the certain cases you want to go out and integrate or transfer the balance, etc. You want to do that. Enable as transfers and enable as adjustments. When you have all like, the adjustments, you want to do that. You can go ahead and select that. Otherwise, you can leave it as need basis itself. So when you go ahead and do as adjustment, right? Okay, it will ask that what kind of adjustment reasons you want to give. You want to give as the adjustment reason for all or just specific one. The clerical error or compensatory, etc. etc. You don't have as like the right requirement. You can better you choose as like the all. Okay, that is my suggestion too. And you can do a lot of transfer cases. It's up to you whether you want to do a lot of transfer cases or not. If you don't have a lot of transfer cases, you can leave it for time being. Because my ultimate is next elective disbursements. Okay, enable as a benefit integration. You want to go ahead and do a lot of the benefit integrations point of view. As in the US, the, the absence module it, or the leave management, it's considered as like the benefit itself. So if you have such kind of the requirement, you can use it that as like the uh, elective disbursement uh, with as like the unable as like benefit plan level, you can do that. The default percentage also how much percentage you want to pay out for the employees. Normally, when you go ahead and do that, the certain organizations, I seen that in my uh, implementation projects, it, the organizations they requested that uh, we will go ahead and pay out for the employees based on their base salary only. Then in that case, we can define as like the percentage itself here, or we can write as like the evaluation formula based on that. We can go ahead and do as a disbursement itself. And the election date also when you have the electing elective disbursement, then you can select the elective date rule also like that. And this is for year end disbursement itself. You do have like the in US, you want to go ahead and use it as like the leave balance, use it. Otherwise, you may lose it, the, the balance on the last day of the month, last day of the year itself. But in India, it's not like that. So we won't go ahead and disperse it like the every year end itself. So the employee is going to get it like the disbursement on the last day of the uh or that that the actual termination date of the employee itself then in that case uh, the, what is the percentage for the disbursement so i'm leaving for that for time being as we don't have the official requirement to go out and define that i'm keeping them as like the optional at this moment and discretionary disbursement also i'm keeping as like the optional for time being it's just up to you how you want to utilize that okay it is not as a mandatory to go ahead and set those so I'm enabling this one for all of the managers and as well as even the workers also. You want to define that this based on that you can choose as like the according rules itself. Otherwise, you can leave it as optional. And donation is not you're not going you're not allowing that all of this plan for all of the donations. Okay, then you can leave it for all of the selecting this checkbox itself. These checkboxes, not this, these checkboxes. Coming to the rate, as I mentioned, that as absence payment rate, as I mentioned, as the uh, their base salary need to be, we need to be set as the certain rates definitions. We need to be associated a whole year. Uh, for timing, I'm keeping as optional for this demo itself. Coming to as the next important point here, yeah, as I mentioned that this is a framework. It is allows us like the easy integration with the time and labor and as well as payroll itself. The first we'll talk about is like the payroll. If you want to integrate this absence management or like the absence plan with as a payroll system, then you can choose as like the checkbox itself. This checkbox is not going to be enough to integrate this absence plan with payroll system itself or payroll module. You need to enable as like the one of the element. You need to configure as an element. That element need to be associated. Then only this plan will be linked with as the payroll system itself otherwise it won't link so for timing i'm taking as optional i'm going to highlight that okay how we can go ahead and configure as element and how we can go ahead and associate that element to as the double absence plan itself So this is about uh, like the how to configure uh, like the uh, the plan absence accrual based plan itself. So I'm keeping as save and uh, 
save and close. So I'm going to search with as like the, the plan, whatever we configured. Uh, our plan name we given under the IN and live. So you can search it. You don't need to choose the country name itself where you don't have as like the uh, how many plans you do have in the respective country. You can choose that as well by selecting as legislation and as less well legislation data group itself. So instead of doing that, I given as like the country name in the 